Hello everyone and welcome to another kit review video. I'm here today with myself Tom uh, and today we're going to be talking about uh, cheek piece risers, pouches, uh, comb razors, uh, all those types of bits and pieces and we've got three in particular that we're going to go through today. Uh, one from Voodoo Tactical, one from AIM and one from Hunters of uh, England. So if we start first with the Voodoo Tactical one, um, so all of them work in the same way in terms of they sit on top of uh, your sort of normal rifle cheek piece here. The theory being they raise uh, where your where your cheekbone sits on the top of the rifle, giving you a, a better view uh, down through the scope, better eye alignment with the reticle, uh, and hopefully it tries to stop some of those um, crosshair parallax issues. So. Uh, Voodoo Tactical one, you've got three Velcro straps here, sits over the, the butt of the rifle and you've got an elastic band bit at the end to stop it going uh, off the back end. And essentially it sits along there and you strap it in place with these three uh, Velcro straps here and you can see there's a massive cushion in the top here which is essentially filmed with lots of this sort of foam, high density foam packing stuff. Um, you've got Velcro bits on each side that you can attach bullet straps and bits and pieces to if you want to uh, and to adjust the thickness or density of this uh, you just take out uh, more or less of that depending uh, on, on what sort of height you want it to be and that all comes supplied as well. Um, you can get these for about 30 quid um, ish um, online. Um, very good, very kind of durable. Uh, to be honest what I do um, uh, in terms of deer stalking, a bit heavy, big and bulky. Uh, in fact, my, my eye, eye line, even with most of the padding out, um, is still sort of slightly pushed too high. I think if you had a really big reticle scope or you were sort of constantly prone doing target shooting, this would probably be absolutely great for you, but for what I do, not quite right. Um, you can get it in a variety of different colors. I think this is the coyote um, olive color, but you can get a sort of darker green, you can get black, and I think you can get a camo version now as well. Um, so as I said, probably more designed for really big scopes, target shooting, foxing, that sort of type of thing really. Um, we move on next to the Hunters of England uh, Sniper's Cheek Piece, uh, which is much slimmer and smaller in profile. So you again works in very much the same way, um, except for it attaches to the stock. Uh, it comes with a sort of big long shoelace that basically goes through these eyelets uh, on each side, which then straps it uh, to, down to the rifle, much thinner. Again, it's got uh, these elasticated loops here for bullets. The big difference to this one here is you've got built into it a, a sort of high density foam uh, angled piece here that the theory with it being is you move it along the stock depending on where your head sits, but also how high you or how much height you need to gain to get that, that good uh, optical picture. Um, and then on the far side as well, there's a, a padded bit there as well. So it gives you a nice kind of feel against your cheek. You can get both left and right handed versions of these. Um, very, very slim profile, really quite good. Um, the only disadvantage to this I'd say is, is it doesn't have, unlike that Voodoo Tactical one, anything at the back here, which I can understand why, because if, if you want it right up at the end there, then whatever it's there at the back has got to be pretty long to allow that. But equally then, if you want it right at the back there, you're going to have a big piece of elastic hanging off the back. I, I did just find when I was using this one that it did sort of move around a little bit more um, on the butt stock as a result because it, it just doesn't have anything to hold it in place as much. Um, but otherwise, perfectly good. Um, our third and final option is this one from AIM. Um, so sorry, I should have said that also comes in both left and right hand versions. This one from AIM comes in both left and right hand versions as well. Um, this is the right hand version, which means it's got a pouch on the right hand side uh, and soft neoprene on the left hand side. Obviously, if it was left-handed would be the other way around. Um, pouch on side, um, you could fit easily probably a sort of decent box of 20, 20 bullets in there. It's got Velcro on this side for attaching elasticated bullet loops with, which come with it. Um, and this works similar, very similar to the Voodoo Tactical one, and it's got elasticated loop at the back. That sits over the, um, over the bark stock. Um, and then the two straps do it up in place. Similar to the, it's kind of, this is probably a sort of blend between the two, to be honest, in that very similar to the Hunters of England one, it also has a sort of built-in foam uh, insert, you probably can't quite see, there you go, you can probably see it now, um, that then just raises your eye height, uh, eye line, sorry, there, and it sits there. It's not adjustable, similar to the Hunters of England one, but to be fair, you can get yourself quite easily some of this high-density foam, put it underneath, if you need to raise it up that little bit more, 
and then you've got a really good, nice, um, high, cheap piece there. Two Velcro straps, um, keeps it in place really, really nicely, and a nice big pouch there to put a couple of magazines or, or some bullets and bits and pieces in. Um, I have just started using this one, so far very impressed with it. Um, primarily use it to get a uh, better cheap weld, but also it's just quite a nice place to store um, bullets and magazines and bits and pieces that you, um, you'd otherwise forget. So there you go, um, and sorry, one final thing I should say, this one also uh, about 30 quid, you can get it between 30 and 35 quid online. Hunters of England one, uh, you can get for about 35 pounds online, and the Voodoo Tactical one, about 30 quid online as well. So all very similar prices, ever so slightly different with each one, uh, and probably down to sort of user preference. Um, give us a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.